Today I'm going to be showing you all how to set up a Minecraft server on your Mac. And this supports basically any version of Minecraft server. All the way from the first version of Minecraft all the way up to the latest, which is currently 1.16.5 for me. And that's the intro, now let's begin with the video. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to head over to the first link down below, which is going to be the Java Archive Downloads page. And on this page here, you're going to want to scroll down until you see Java SE Development Kit 12. Not 12.0.1, but just 12. And then you're going to want to go to macOS, and you can either download the bin.dmg, or you can download the bin.tar.gz. And this one you have to extract, and it's a little more work, so I'd recommend going with the DMG, but it doesn't really matter. And then you're going to want to download this to your downloads folder, so that it's easy to find. And once the file is downloaded, open up your downloads folder, or wherever you downloaded it to, and then double click on the DMG file. And then double click on this jdqa12.pkg, click continue, install, and then type in your login password. And then it's going to install the software for you. And shortly after that it should say install succeeded. So then you can close out of this window and then you can click on move the trash. So this will just move the installer, not the actual Java install. And we can also close out of this window here and we can eject the JDK 12 disk from our desktop. So to do that, just click on this eject button here. And now we can download the Minecraft server jar. To do that, just click on the second link down below and then scroll down on this website a bit until you see download Minecraft server and then whatever the latest version is .jar. And like I said before, the latest version is 1.16.5 for me. And to download this file, you simply just need to click on it and then save it to your downloads folder. Now that we've downloaded those two main files, we can close our browser and we can head to the desktop now. And on the desktop, we're going to want to create a new folder. And to do this, we're going to right click, so hold on control and click. And then click on new folder. And then title this something easy to find. I'm just going to call it server and then the version I have, which is 1.16.5. And then go ahead and open that folder up. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and drag the server.jar file into this folder. And once that file is in there, we're just going to double click on it to open it. And before it lets us open it, it's going to say server.jar cannot be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. And this is just a safety feature of Mac OS and this file is 100% safe since it's from a trusted developer. But your Mac does not know that and there is an easy workaround to this. And all you're going to need to do is just click on OK. Open up system preferences. Go over to security and privacy. Then go to general and click on open anyway. And then click on open. And pretty shortly after you should see four other files appear in here. Now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to trust the ULA text. So double click on the text file to open it. And then change this from false to true. And then do command S to save. Then go up to text edit in the top and then go down to quit text edit. Now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create a boot file for the server or a file to run the server basically. And to do this, you're gonna wanna do a spotlight search so just click command in the spacebar at the same time or you can click on this magnifying glass up in the top right and type in text edit and then click on new document and then go up to format in the top and then go to make plain text and now you're going to want to copy the text that i have down below which will look something like this and this basically limits the server to running on one gig of ram and it's also telling it to run without the GUI mode, so that'll run in like a terminal window basically. Which will help with the server performance ultimately. And now we can go ahead and save the file, so go up to file on the top, go to save. And then we're going to want to save this to where we're working currently. So we'll save it to our desktop, and then we'll save it to our server folder. And then what we want to title this, start.command, so that this file becomes executable. Then click on save in the bottom. And now you can exit out of text edit, so do command Q. Now what we want to do is we want to open up a new terminal window. So do command spacebar once again and type in terminal. And in terminal you're going to want to type in chmod space a plus x. And then after the x click space. And now we want to drag the start.command file into terminal. So to do this just click and drag it. And then click on enter. And now that terminal script is executable. Now all you need to do is you can close out a terminal. 
and then just double click on the start dot command. And then now it's going to start to run through the server setup. And this will take a moment or two, depending on the speed of your Mac. And it's creating all the files, just like as it would on a Windows computer. And your server has now been created. So now you can go ahead and open up Minecraft, then select the latest release, which should be your server version, and then click on play. And once you're in multiplayer, all you need to do is go down to add server and then type in localhost as seen here and click done. And now you can join your Minecraft server from your local network. And it's that simple to create a server for your Mac. All you need to do is download the JDK, which I'll have linked down below. You need to download the Minecraft server.jar file. And then you just need to configure a few things in your Minecraft folder and then start up the server and you can go ahead and join. Now the thing is, this is only a local server and I will be making a part two to this on how to port forward your server so that anyone in the world can join. So make sure to stay tuned. And if you have any troubles, leave a comment down below and I'll work on getting back to you as soon as I can. And thank you all so much for tuning in and I hope to see you again in the next video.